Hello and welcome to another episode of the Applebaum Bytes podcast. Today's episode number 65 already and we have some amazing guests here on the show. We're going to talk pens and if you want to get involved, uh, please feel free to uh, ask your questions in the comment section on YouTube or on Facebook. On Instagram, you can also ask questions, but most likely we will not see that here in the in the program that we're using. So if you have questions, uh, head over to YouTube or Facebook. All right, let me introduce our co-host first because it is Aziza, aka Gourmet Pants. Welcome on the show, Aziza. How are you? Thank you. I am fantastic. I hope you guys are well. Yes, definitely, definitely. A really special guest here. It's Nusha. Welcome, Nusha. How are you doing? Good, good. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited. Hey. Yes. Um, so your Instagram handle is Prosius and Pretty Pants. Do I pronounce it correctly? Yes, perfect. Close. I mean, I, yeah, to I, me, it was perfect. Just let it go, Aziza. It's okay. Good. See, it doesn't matter because you speak <laughs> so many languages that you could say whatever you want, and we are still in awe that yes, you you even Seriously. able to do this. So yeah, I just, but it's ferocious. I just tried it the entire day. Ferocious. <laughs> ferocious. ferocious. Okay, so there you go. You got out the last one. Let's uh, let's do this. Let's start with the pen check first. So, Aziza, what found the pen do you have with you today? The pen check. Okay. Today, I mean, this has been inked since I have received it. So, this is the Leonardo Momento Zero Grande, and this is the 2024 Dutch Pen Show Sugar Rush. Listen, Ooh. if you put the name sugar wow. or candy in a pen, I will buy it. So it's this material, the like pink peachy pearlescent swirly thing. I love it. So and it's rhodium trim, which I'm really I'm really into the rhodium trim lately. So there we go. I think it's it hot. came out in two, in three trims, right? It has gold, rose gold. gold. Yeah. And then yeah. the ro um Rose gold. Sorry, that's what I was going for. Yeah, I like gold. I like this. It's it's a good combo. Yeah. The materials so, made by Jonathan, Jonathan Brooks. Yeah, I don't know what it's called though. It's pretty. Uh, it's sugar <laughs> rush. Just sugar rush. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty. Yeah. It's what is pretty. it inked with? It is actually inked with Sailor Papaya. Ooh. I know. I know. Um, I have a sample it's of a, it. It's an interesting match. Well, it's very because if you look at the ink window, it's kind of it's like a really bright, well, papaya color. Just, it does not taste like papaya, though. I will tell you that. Yeah, you tried it by accident. I so, did that this past weekend. I actually <laughs> tried an ink and I was like, why does that taste so tart? And then I thought See? of you. Yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> Listen, if anybody's watching, well, as you're watching this, don't do that ever. It's so yeah, bad for you. Don't it was do an that. accident. It, it was an accident, but. I'm very happy with it. And but I you're notorious for drinking inks, right, Aziza? Not drinking, just sampling. Like a professional, like I'm like an yeah. ink sommelier. So like a little shot. A little, a very tiny, like, like very tiny. Taste the earthy undertones, the butteriness of the. <laughs> yeah. It's like a medium, medium body. Body. Kind of <laughs> body, painful <laughs> as you, as it goes down your throat. Yeah, don't do this. Don't, don't. do that. Don't yeah. listen to this. Don't. This is bad no, advice. Don't try this at home. Don't yeah. try this at home. Just put it in your pen, and that's Just it. Let Aziza do the do the dangerous. I'm a professional, thing. so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're trained to do this. I am Perfect. trained. Nusha, Nusha, what fountain pen do you carry with you today? So today I have the Mont Blanc Heritage 1912, and I love this because it has the you know the white cap. It's super sexy looking very professional and then you open it up and then <laughs> i love the sound effects they're so good <laughs> yeah so um i purposely picked it because i'm getting ready to go on a business trip and this is an awesome thing to have with you because it sometimes can be an awesome conversation starter with people. You can find your fountain pen people pretty quickly uh, if they know what the emblem is and they'll be more likely to maybe talk to you. Maybe they have something in their collection, even if it's a ball point or a roller ball or whatever, like it's okay. We have something you, you in common. If you find pen people least. in the wild, that's already crazy. Yeah, this is, this is my gateway yeah. to, to start a conversation. That's 
that's very brilliant especially yeah. if you cap it non-pen people will be like oh my gosh how is that a pen but you know then you just rotate and extend the nib and it, yeah. it's a magic trick of sorts and i have it inked with a uh, saskatoon <laughs> A little plug for for you, Aziz. I've been playing with your inks recently, and Thank I'm you. loving all yes. of them. So I have questions for you because I saw you doing art with them. So yeah, I'll, when we're done talking about new cool things, other than ourselves being the cool things, I I'm totally curious about your art. Totally. So yeah, very Yo, good. So what do you have? What do you have? What do you How have does going it taste? Wait, 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 wait. How does it taste? How does it taste? It does not taste like pie. <laughs> it's actually very mild because it's not a very oh. deeply saturated ink so i find that it's mm -hmm. the the pigment that tastes funny or like the dyes so anyway i'm just guessing here i don't actually know i'm not sure who does. So. yeah you do <laughs> watch she goes it's okay <laughs> does this off camera and yeah. then comes back and her like <laughs> <laughs> yes That's yes okay. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> uh, we have Stella here. Stella saying hi. Hi, Stella. Hello. All right. Let's have a look at my pen check. But for my pen check, I need some gloves because it's a really precious, precious pen. Oh. Let me put on oh, my now gloves. we're all like, ooh. Ooh, the gloves, the infamous gloves. I guess. So what I have here, it's not my own pen. I have to admit that. It's okay. from a customer. And it's a very special one. It's a Namiki Aya Akatsuki Daybreak found pen. Most likely I butchered this name so hard, but it, it's it's okay because it's so I pretty. actually don't think so. I think that was good. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so know. the let me see if I can the technique they used is it gold dust on the pen? Wow. Oh, I could see it. <gasps> oh, and it's just on the black parts. It looks like no, it's not. It's everywhere. I love it. Yeah, and it's like the gold dust with well, daybreak colors. So it I has guess red. Like it reddish. has black <gasps> parts. It, they are gold dust. It's just amazing. And of course, I will show the nip as well. Wow. <gasps> oh. That's a nice nib. That is a really nice nib. I love the two-tone yep. Namiki nibs. Yeah, they're amazing. I mean, if I so, if somebody yeah, gave this me is, this, this is this I is not do. my pen check, but it's the pen <laughs> check from the customer. That, what? That's okay. But uh, yeah. I mean, it's really nice. That's what nib did they hard. get? I mean, I'll if we're gonna to be nosy, some, some better close up. <laughs> yeah, please tell Sorry? me it's not it's not a fine nib, is it? Is it what kind of nib did they get? It's a medium. At least a me okay. okay. It's a medium. It's a medium. That's okay. It's a medium. That's okay. It's a medium. So that's okay. And um, yeah, it will be shipped to South Africa. And other than that, I cannot share any details. That's very cool. <laughs> I've never seen those in person. So, so it's very pretty. Maybe it's a gift, by the way, for somebody. I don't know. Could be. If it is, we need to be friends with this person in yeah. South Africa. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> See, so if you're in you South shudder. Africa now and, and it's and it's almost your birthday, you know, you might have something. You know, send Nusha with her Mont Blanc. She could strike up conversation, right? So there Hello. you go, just Hello. like that. It's a technique. Hello. Oh, that's that's so very easy. beautiful. I actually Do you have really a lot of like business trips, Nusha. Hmm? Do you have a lot that's of business it. trips? I do. I do. So I'm going Chicago this week and then I'm going to be in Lisbon in two weeks. And then after that, I come back to the States and then I go to San Francisco. And I think that's the end of it for this year. So, wow. yeah. Busy that schedule. Sounds, that, yeah. 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 Busy schedule, but um, it's a lot of fun. So I do marketing and stuff in, in medical. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, good times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That is and very and now I'm wondering how how uh, many times do you have that conversation about pens with people? You know, road? I've had it since I started carrying this specific pen. I've had it maybe 
two or three times where like I was, I had it attached to my name tag because I go to trade shows and stuff and I bent over and the person saw the emblem and they're like, oh, and then they like busted out their Mont Blanc. <laughs> <laughs> and, we're like, and the trade show the trade show became a pen show right <laughs> so you're right it is an icebreaker conversation starter yeah and then yeah huh. so now you know it's it's pretty funny every time i see that guy i'm like hey how's your how's your you know mom pop collection did you add anything new or anything like that and it's just it's a it's a fun time so it's happened two or three times so far. I've only been doing this for the last like year and a half to two years. So this just kind of came to me uh, recently, mm -hmm. just as a, let's see if anybody picks up on this. And it's really subtle because it's not like in your face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Especially because that particular pen, the the snow cap is, is in a white top, not like the black with the white mm -hmm. contrast. Uh, you know, Yost, mm -hmm. I think you need a category on your website that is conversation starter pens for people who yes. want to talk about pens when they travel or whatever. And so here are options what, that you what, could. What other, pen, what, <gasps> what other pen would you add to that category? As well? Oh, no. I got. Oh, no. How did I do this to myself? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <It's>... <gasps> I mean... That's a very good question. I mean, okay. it's something that has rotten, definitely, you would yeah. include in there just because yeah. people have seen rotten in different formats and maybe don't know about it. Or they might have a jewelry box that has some sort of like Japanese artistry on it at home or mm -hmm. an antique. You're good at marketing. Yeah. <laughs> I you, try. You, you knew what to say. <laughs> I'm gonna go with what she said. Yeah. What she said. <laughs> but, you, but you're right, because rotten is so captivating. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that, that I was thinking as well, like something that 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 is like grabs your eye, yeah. grabs your attention immediately. Probably some I, Yarda LEDs. And you know, the other thing too that's interesting is if you're interacting with European people, I found that a lot of them use Quebecos and Lamis in grade school. So right. I've had a Caveco that I was just like writing notes with in like a, a meeting. It was just like a regular sport. And the person stopped me. She was a nurse and she's like, oh my God. And she was from, I think she was from Germany. And she was like, oh my gosh, like this is like, where did you get this? Like, and she got really nostalgic. Aww. So, I mean, I think there's, there's ways of, and she was, you know, around the same age as me. So, I mean, it's, it's not as if that, you know, isn't a thing even today. So yeah. I don't know, just something to, mm -hmm. to think about. <laughs> yeah, nostalgia. That's, awesome. that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, it's a good one. And uh, not only pens are, are are there to 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 see, but as you said, apparently you have a watch. Yes, it is my. Uh, it was actually a gift from a very good friend. Um, it is my Omega Moon Swatch, and oh. it's the mission to Mars. And she has my 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 girlfriend has the matching one. So, cool. uh, yeah, it's just it's very very special. I don't have a lot of watches. Um, but this, I actually also have an Apple watch, but I hate it. So <laughs> um, I'm much happier with a regular, like an analog watch, just like I like my fountain pens. So I couldn't yeah. get through life without this thing. Cause I like never have my phone on me. I would never know if somebody texted me, called me any of that stuff. That's cause I you're don't... a professional. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not. So <laughs> yeah. See, now they need to get into making a pen for me, specifically for me. For so that. Just, I just love swatches. That would be cool. There, there, are, there actually are a lot of brands that are brand, branching out to making pens. Uh, lately, they should be we consulting added a new us. Brand to our... Yeah, no. But lately, I added, we added a brand to the store, uh, Davidov. Uh, apparently, they're also making writing instruments, and we added that to... Oh, our don't, collection. Don't they make like uh, the colognes? Colognes, yeah, like cool, cool exactly, water or yes. something. Is yes, they but they, oh, they are great like, into the cigar like business. Oh, oh, that's interesting. That's where they're I, I need to go browse. Yeah. This is what happened. Yeah, no, but honestly, okay. that is really interesting. Beautiful pens, yeah, but no fountain pens. That's oh. okay. And I've got, I've got ball points. I've got roller balls. I'll allow I it. don't. Yeah, but it's sad. <laughs> it is sad. I know? don't discriminate with writing instruments. 
I love that. I kind of do. I'll be that's, honest. That's I do. Okay. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. There's just, uh, I mean, I, I have gel pens in my house for, for, you know, when I need to like very quickly need to like jot something down or whatever, but like majority of my stuff are fountain pens and it's, I think it's just, I enjoy them more. So if I'm going to choose to spend money on something then I'm going to spend it on something that I'm going to love writing with, you know what I mean? That's, that's fair. Yeah. Also, that's sensible. Aziza also only have ballpoint pens that she was ever given. But, she, I, I don't think that she ever spent one dollar to a ballpoint. I maybe I have. I have a couple like retro fifty ones, and I oh, also yeah, have that's a pens. cool one. That's a cool one. Yeah. yeah. And and they're cute and they're they're not very expensive, so it's a little bit of a splurge, but they're very collectible because they keep coming up with new designs. Um, some of them glow in the dark, so you know me. Mm. If it glows in the dark, I'll buy it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all it takes. <laughs> um, so, what right, else? Let me see. What else do you have that's I have, new? I have Stella here. Oh you, yeah, I was with, hoping you wouldn't share that one because that's embarrassing. Yeah. Um, Stella, Stella was, in the uh, facts. I'm saying. <laughs> I did not know this. That some pigments can be deadly, especially the red ones were used to kill in medieval times. So, you know, be careful, the Aziza. More, we don't want to The lose more you. you know. So if somebody wanted to kill me, they could just send me ink samples and be like, what do these taste like? Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just about that. Don't moving do that, on. please, people. Don't do that. Mo we don't want, we don't want to lose. <laughs> yeah, moving on. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, I wanted to talk to you both a little bit about pen trends because, uh, well, pen brands are coming out with new pens all the time. I have here three new pens as well. Every week I have new pens coming out. And, of course, we all are almost here at the end of the year. In the gifting season, people want to know, what is the current trend? So we we'll want to start off. Ooh, that's a good question. I mean, other than just colorways, because there is, I mean, a lot of the, the pen companies, so like Platinum, um, Esterbrook, so they have models that we all know and are comfortable with. And so they're releasing new colorways I mean, Sailor does this too, and it's very hard to keep up because you kind of want all of them. And I mean, that's the mm -hmm. whole point. Like, it's, oh, a pretty color. Uh, it'll fit well in my collection. And, but I, I really like what's happening now with the move to um, Illumilite. So custom materials for the pens and not just... Not that I have anything against a black pen with trim. Um, I think the and a white dot on it, like and a white dot it. on it. I think the move to the custom <laughs> resin stuff is really fun. Like it makes step like the standard options bit extra exciting because I mean, like, look at this. Like, I kind of wish that you know the sailors and pilots would try to do the same thing because imagine having i mean i know the barrels of their pens are a lot thinner and they're mm -hmm. not necessarily doing the same like machining process i think that theirs is maybe like a molded process for the mm -hmm. pen bodies but i think it would be so cool if they if they would also adopt that because and i not that i think that they ever would because it's you know very i think western at this point yeah. But it'd be really cool if they if they did that because I, I agree with you. It gets hard to keep up when there are so many different like uh versions of like a slightly more green turquoise or like yeah. a blue turquoise. Like and there's nothing wrong with that. I love turquoise, I love teal, I love all of the colors, mm -hmm. even though this was my <laughs> pen. <laughs> That's okay. You but, said business. It's a business. Yeah, pen. business. Yeah, uh, there's party somewhere um, in my house right go. now. But um, uh, I think that uh, yeah, like uh, I do like seeing that trend of like using smaller makers to, for for more custom materials. So every pen's going to be a little bit different, and you know you're going to have something that just looks looks really yeah. That, that's well, the this next is also a good gonna, comment yeah. just in time 
exactly as to like pertinex i'm sorry if i said that pertinex right is way. saying That's like custom right. resin is so hard to choose except yeah. sight unseen yeah though each pen can be so different and some less preferred that is uh, true. we got a lot of requests from customers and we're really happy to do that especially uh for example like brands with leonardo mm -hmm. uh, they use these kind of materials and we're really happy to send videos most of the time i actually send videos customers ask for photos but mm -hmm. then i have to send a lot of photos so most of the time i just send a video of the entire pen mm -hmm. so people can actually see what they will be getting and of course uh, there are always a lot of requests like, hey, I want to have a little bit more blue, less yeah. turquoise, things like that. I cannot request that with Leonardo, but I can send a video up front and then you can decide if you would like to have it or that I have to order another really, one or that really you can pick nice. another one. Because, yeah, that's I think that's the least that we can do, right? Yeah, I mean, that's very nice because I have, even myself, I have definitely purchased pens online of materials that I have seen in the promo pics or like the stock photos. Uh, and, the, and and I, I already know that the pen will not look like that, but mm -hmm. I keep hoping that maybe- That's something that you know look, for sure. It will not look like- Like it's not going to look like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what you need to do is buy like 10 of them and then just pick your favorite. <laughs> and then become That's a reseller. Awesome. And then, and then you can, or gift them to your friends. Yeah. There you go. Like There's it. a way to get into your no. good into the good books. Just just ask for a video. We're happy to send them. And uh, if you're well, buying is, with somebody else, which of course fantastic. is also not an issue, most likely, at least I know the dealers that that I am aware of. Most mm -hmm. of the time, they are happy to send you a video or a photo. Oh, that's whatever. so nice. I yeah. think that's it's very smart. To, it's it's like um, getting more hip to how we're buying things nowadays because a lot of people. Although I wanted to come to the Apple Boom store, <laughs> I wasn't you able should. to make it over there <laughs> the last time I was in Europe. But I think a lot of people are buying their things online and, you know, like the comment, sight unseen. Sometimes that's difficult to gauge if you're really going to like what you buy. And mm -hmm. um, so I think that's an awesome level of, of customer service to offer people. Mm hmm. And that's a lot of work because yeah. you have to open those. I know this sounds ridiculous, but you have to unpackage that carefully and open it carefully because obviously you don't want to damage the packaging. But also it's just a lot of work to open boxes to find the right one. So I yeah. think I I salute you because that is yeah. it's very it's, nice. It's a, it's a little it's a little it's the least what we can do. Right. That's and it, and awesome. Still, it's even better than shipping the pen to, let's say, Australia or some little oh, island yeah. in an ocean. And yeah. then it ends up with a customer. Customer doesn't like it and have to return it. Yes. And that's even more yes. of a problem. So then and that little video, we can... You, you prefer out. them to be happy when they get it. Definitely. And be sure Definitely. that they're going to be happy, not just yeah. hope that they'll be happy. That's really yeah. nice. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if that. No, but that's one of the trends. Yeah. Another I like trend that, that trend. I that I that I saw is that more and more pens are uh, having black trims, black nibs, um, yes. and it's it's a nice little bridge as well to the new products that I need to announce. So, uh, well, let's do that. Uh, the first one that I need to uh, announce it, it just came in. It is the Twisby Eco Irish Green. Uh, with Onyx, that was the name. I have it here. And as you can see, it is beautiful green, a beautiful color, of course, because, well, for obvious reasons. Oh and <laughs> it is it a solid a green or is it kind of clear? And black. It is a solid green, it's so solid. It's, not, okay. it's not clear. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh. I'm really. I'm not that good. Uh, I'm not as good as you are in this, Aziza. Like no, this is this is really good. I try to. Yeah. So it's a solid green. It has black trim, uh, with a black nib on it, and I think it's a really cool uh, new feature on Twisby pens that they come up with black details yeah. because I don't know why, but black is always like an interesting color on 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 pens. I yeah, think so I least. feel like they're getting really like out there with like different not this isn't black isn't out there, but they did the mm -hmm. the the bronze one, right? As yeah. well. And yeah. so 
I feel like there might be other things that they come up with later. But let me ask you guys this. What pen does that remind you of that Twisby already released? Uh-oh. Wait. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> I don't know because I, my Twisbees, the I, I, okay, that's good because I only have Ecos in a yeah. collection. It's the, oh, it's so, like the Eco version of the the Aurora Twisby that they did years ago. Oh my god! Because gosh. it's literally the same thing. It's a black oh. nib, and it's green. Yes, it's different, but I think that that's kind of they're the looking at things that have done well. Yes, and trying to mm -hmm. think of other ways to deliver Which it is, to the peoples. Listen, Twisby. Please make a hot pink with black yes. trim. Just saying. Anybody, somebody make me a pen that's hot pink with black trim. <laughs> I, I like this Aurora. comment. This comment's good. Aurora yeah. did that. They released, it together a, with colors. They a, released a black pink uh, pen for the South Korean market. Well, Nusha. <laughs> <laughs> that hot doesn't help with me. Black trims. Yeah, hot there's pink with black pants. Oh, see, it, it, that's just that's so good. Like hot pink with. But black anyway, pants. you guys should do, Twisby. You guys should do that next. Anybody, <laughs> anybody who's listening to me, a hot pink pen with black trim, please. Thank you. Okay, I'm, with I'm a, searching now with a mega any pen, mega septuple broad, octuple broad. It was some sort of like a. Uh, uh, an exclusive to the the South Korean market because they have that that K-pop band Blackpink. Oh, I don't know if if it was on purpose, but like I saw it. <laughs> I thought, those are the pieces I put together. I am starting oh. rumors, and Yost is never going to ask me to come back again. Probably not. Yeah, <laughs> he's like ferocious and full of lies. Pens. <laughs> That's my new name. No, 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 no. Of course That's not. That's your new name. I was, I was just looking for it, but I couldn't find it. But I think it's, it's uh, yeah. We it's need more options. We, it needs to be accessible to all yeah, of us. Yeah, but I agree with that. But comment, maybe there's a new brand that, that, that's like stepping into this game because another pen that I want to announce that literally came in this afternoon in the store. New products. Is the new ah. Pelican M670 warm gray, and mm. if I show it here on the camera, it looks really white. As you can see, it looks really white, and it has black trim. But actually, it is really gray. So I have here the M the M405 silver white. And when you put them side by side, really it's very obvious. Yeah. Yeah. So what are but they maybe... naming the black trim? Is it because you know four hundred is the gold, or, or the yeah. zero is the gold, and five is the silver? What's this one? This is the six hundred seventy. So I think that the seventy is black. Oh, uh, they have. I mean, they haven't done a lot of pens with black trim, as far as this is the know. first one that I know of. Because they had the M200, like the white and black, like the Stormtrooper, but that's been yeah. ages. This is very That's nice. a long, long time ago. But, yeah. but did it have a black nib on it or was it silver nib? I think it was a steel nib. Yeah, a silver. Yeah, yeah this is. That's cool. This is like, and also the ink window is also black color. That is and very cool. Greenish. So it's a green. If you look into the light, it is it is a green ink window, but well, it looks. Well, yeah, kind of like the, the vintage ones where the ink window was a dark green. Yeah. That's yeah. very nice. Now, all so, but, ma but a... maybe Pelican will come up with a hot pink. Yeah, uh, maybe. See, I year. have a high hopes for Pelican going forward since their, their acquisition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, be just because if you look at some of the things that they released right after or around the time of the acquisition, I wonder if that was all like in in play already because you can't just yeah. Most turn of the time, and... Pelican is planning planning yeah. ahead yeah. for about a year. You can't so. you can't just turn a pen like that quickly. Mm -hmm. well, but no. like I have high hopes for them because uh, of stuff like this. You mm -hmm. know, like this mm -hmm. is new. I've never seen them do a black nib before with like black trim like that on yeah. like the 600. 
uh, or any of their pens. Yeah, usually they keep their in like funky colors to the 200 line. Yeah. Yeah. Or the 205s and stuff. But uh, yeah, that's a good point. I I do think the Renaissance Brown in the M thousand that was like really mind blowing for them. Like doing something crazy with the M thousand that was really out of their comfort zone. Yeah. Which to me, like I. I like Pelican, but my budget has not gone past the M600 at this point mm-hmm. because there hasn't been something that I've loved enough other than the rotten ridiculousness that they've released in the past where my wallet is like in the corner shivering. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> don't do it. Uh, but uh, uh, to me, uh, uh, M1000 that's Renaissance Brown, like, ooh, like it, it's a colorway that Pelican in the past has already done really well with, mm-hmm. but it's not mm-hmm. out of the strata of like doing well again and having a market of people that want to go from like a smaller series number. It's a very methodical sort of way of doing it. And to mm-hmm. me, not really product development centric. I mean, they're to... probably playing it a bit safe because. Yeah. If they did what I want, which is again the hot pink or black trip on an M one thousand, that would be cool. That would be cool. Oh my oh, gosh! Like I, oh my good, like I, they could pre-sell that and they would be fine. But I just, Aziza would buy all of them. I kidding. would buy all of them. <laughs> oh, that would be so cool. And then you could have um, Annabelle like make nibs bigger, <laughs> like make me make me the widest nib that will fit in that cap. So I just. I don't know. I just uh, I keep hoping. No, but but also the size of the M thousand is quite a specific size. It's not for yeah. everybody. Yeah. So that's why the six hundred is a really safe size because people can use it uncapped, but, but they can also use it posted. Yeah. So there are a lot of different ways of using the six hundred. So I think that's why they use the six hundred for a lot of colors, mm-hmm. and I think that's the best selling model for them. The that may, yeah, because it is a in between size. Yeah. Um, I don't even. I I know people that buy the M two hundreds that know that they're not going to be able to use them for very long periods of time, just right. because they come in like a fun color that they connect with. Mm-hmm. So, um, and I think that's the the shame in all of this is that if they would do some of the same things with the colors that they release in the M two hundred line into the M six hundred, I think that like the lapis. Hmm. For this year, mm-hmm. with the sparkly blue body, I mean that also came in just f- last week, I think something like that. Is it as? Beautiful? Have you seen it already or not? I have. I have not. I, I mean, I've seen know. their pictures, but yeah. I haven't seen anybody okay, post. Shall it. I grab it? Yes. Yeah. Just give me a second, okay? We'll, we'll hold down the fort. Yeah. We're good. Okay. We can, We'll chit chat. Don't worry. We'll we'll stay like appropriate while you, while you're gone. Absolutely. Don't I mean, <laughs> totally. <laughs> uh. I like what Jean suggested too, a black pen with hot pink accents, like a ceramic coated clip and trim that's hot pink. Oh, I would like that. Like a matte hot pink. That sounds sexy. I think I, I like need it. to take a notebook and just draw my fantasy colorways and use inks to color them and then hope somebody makes it. Yes. I think that's what I need to do. Now, no. Ooh. here it is. The golden lapis. Oh, so this is the version with the ink too. Oh, so we'll see the ink bottle. Have you messed with the ink at all, Aziza? Um, not yet. Not. Oh, see. Oh, that's okay. So the PR picture, as usual, it, it did it, it no it up, justice. But, but... No justice. Yeah, the PR makes it look flat. Like the the material looks flat. Oh, okay. well, oh, that I is... was going to skip on this one, but uh, it was all lies. Ferocious that and is... lying pens. That's me. That... Ferocious <laughs> and lying pens. That's beautiful. I actually yeah, like this more think... than the pink I sh- one. I should did. buy a better camera, but it, I hope it picks it up a little bit. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Sparkles are it. really sparkling in there. Oh, that's that's killer. Oh, yeah. no. Imagine that they did this in an M600 size. See, that's what I... That's... Part you nuts. get me. You get part what I mean. Like, that's it right there. Pelican 600 in the lapis. Take my money. Take my money. <laughs> they just they just need to listen oh. to us. 
Take my money. Or even to an M thousand size. But it's, if it's in an M thousand size, I, I don't I don't know if there are enough sparkles in the world for M thousand size. Probably not. Uh, Probably not. I was blue. Yeah. Um, I have here actually my new Omas Bologna Azure Diamond, purchased from the Applebaum site and shipped to Australia, is even more beautiful than shown oh, on the Applebaum Oh, website. that's yeah, wonderful. But that's a, yeah, but that's a little bit of the problem, you know, with the photos that you get yeah. from the suppliers. Yeah. Yeah, just what happened yeah. right now. I was totally going to skip on the that specific pen. And but eventually you end up being closest in buying pens. <laughs> No, it's, it's, it's dangerous because when you do yeah. see how pretty they are actually yes it's very exciting sometimes they're not as pretty as the photos and then you don't have to worry about it yeah. but that doesn't often happen yeah it's unusual not so many times um m800 size yeah if i also have some comments in instagram because I see the comments, but I cannot show them here. Wait, I will have this banner up again. All right. So, but this is all, these are only two of the three new pens that I needed to show. Actually, this is already, I already showed three new pens because the golden lapis was kind of like an extra. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the other one, that's like, because the others were just kind of new colors, right? Mm -hmm. And this is like a complete new model that I want to share with you guys because I have here. Also with a black trim, this is really by accident because it also comes in other color trims. Uh, this is the Narwhal Eclipse. And I don't know if the camera picks this up, but this is the gold one. And I have here the silver one as well, but let's let's figure out how this pen works because it doesn't have or, a cap. <laughs> both you and I are like. <laughs> <laughs> That's my who? Oh, it doesn't have a cap. It doesn't have a cap. So, which means that this is. Uh, oh. Oh, you look at this? the body. You see the mechanism the... going there? Oh, that's really cool. fun. That's like muscle fibers. Sorry, that's yeah. gross. But it's really nice. how does it, uh, like, how metal. do you get into it? It's aluminum. It's <laughs> like, aluminum. how do you open it? You hold it. Yeah, like how this. do you put ink in it, Yost? That's a good one. I'm going to open it now for the first time ever. Do it carefully in case it goes flying. Uh, maybe like with the vanishing I... points? Yeah. So you have this little crown. Oh, and wow. Then you have a converter here. And this is. That looks a lot like a, like uh, a vanishing the point. Atlas. Yeah. Or vanishing point, yeah. Interesting. Or oh, the cap. Yeah. Say, yeah. Capless. That's, uh, that's, that looks really cool coming together. That would look mm -hmm. cool in hot pink and black as well, just saying. Yeah, especially if the windows were, were that hot pink. Yes. Like it... mm -hmm. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. So, but it comes in uh, in uh, three colors. Um, I had this all prepared. It comes in black, silver, and gold. And the black one you can get with gold or silver trim. Uh, the silver one you can get with the silver or a black trim. And the gold one with gold or black trim. Uh, and they have some really uh, uh, interesting names for it, like electrum, iridium, things like that. But eventually oh. it's just black, silver, gold. Uh -huh. It's an interesting one. Aziza, yeah. I think you should do a review about it. What do you think? I've actually... Ne I don't have any narwhals. Uh, hmm. or is it narwhal or navalure? Yeah, I think it's. I'm gonna just say narwhal because just yeah, whatever. You I, feel think, I think I think <laughs> I think they 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 say narwhal as well. That's that's unusual. I, I they have made um their piston filling models, and I have seen those often. But but you're right. Like this is different. Something new. Huh. Yeah. I, think I, need I to... feel like this might be one of the few six other than uh what was it, Moon Man that tried it a couple years ago, successful attempts at like recreating yeah an, a version of something that's capless, yeah. so that's clicky. Because well, you have uh, the platinum Kuridas, which is yeah. also yeah, quite okay. but I haven't used that one and that one I haven't heard the best things as far as like being able to fill it and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just think that this looks really sexy if I'm honest about it yeah. like I like the way 
they've it's very unique as to being able to see yeah those that's pieces. really fun that's that's mm -hmm. i feel like uh that's a good one good one narwhal you can play around with it all the time as well that actually reminds me of the uh the porsche pens the yes, text flex. Uh, so the it's text kind flex, of like yeah. braided metal and when you do stuff to it, it like it comes together in the same way but this is probably not at like 800 euros hopefully <laughs> so no 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 no. You know. this one is 99 euros that's including dutch vat so if you're not oh. in the europe it's like 81 euros only huh okay and that's correct pam they said they have been working on it for two years so there's like a really a lot of development in here and the material that was used for this i think it's aluminum but i'm not the material expert i will send it over to aziza she can taste it and she can tell you what material i'll be like what year tastes like aluminum that's is i assume it's a steel nib Yes, yes, yeah, for yeah. 100 euros. It's yeah, yeah. Well, still, that's very yeah. intriguing. Yeah. Huh. And I will ask them if they can make one for you in hot pink with black trims. Thank you. Thank you. I would appreciate that. And if but they honestly, do, you know, gold with black trims is already kind of like, of course, it's not pink. No, but, but like, the contrast is really good. It's like C3PO-ish. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it is. I can't unsee it now. But a little more functional than C three P. Yeah, <laughs> that's very neat. I, yeah. I, I th see. This is good. I really appreciate when companies try something. You know, not everything is going to be a raving success, but I appreciate that they try to do something different rather than just the same old. And I mean, the same old is great. Keep it. Keep doing it. But also do other things. Yeah, mm -hmm. dip your toe. It doesn't have to be like a massive, huge release. Just try yeah. it out. Kind of like what Tasha does, where they have like a prototype that they take to a pen show, a prototype or two. Yep. And then people, they see people's reaction to it. And then they decide whether or not it's going to be full swing. I mean, isn't that Same fun? Thing. Yeah. Like, I think it's fantastic. I, I love that uh, Narwhal is, is taking the time to, to really dig deep and like try mm -hmm. something that's a different mechanism like yeah. i love that but i think That's also great. that ben shows is a good way for them to to test the audience like hey how would yeah. you respond to it so i think perfect for voice of customer perfect for voice of yeah. customer yeah interesting no so it's a it's a good it's a good thing so we talked about some pen trends some new products i showed uh, aziza do you have a question for uh nusha oh my gosh oh my gosh so many okay <laughs> so well, I did not know about Nusha until, well, several months ago, but actually probably like a year. But I did not know that Nusha is also an artist. Yes. And like a real artist, not like <laughs> me that pretends. I'm like, oh, I'm so artistic. Um, and so I've seen you because you do a lot of fountain pen ink work. Mm -hmm. I would love if you like, ha have you always done this? Was this something that you started exploring to justify your pens? <laughs> I started exploring messing with the fountain pen ink because of the fact that I have so much ink <laughs> and it's ridiculous <laughs> that I wanted I to find a, yeah, find a way to use it. And the cool thing about fountain pen ink is that when you put it on different kinds of paper, it spreads a different way. Mm -hmm. So there's the ability for it to show multiple colors especially if it's like a chromatic like shader like for example i did this one a while back which is this was done with uh one ink color but because of how it sits on the paper and you can move it around i was able to you that's know. incredible first of all you are <laughs> i'm so envious of your skill thank you and, yeah, but that too. really showcases an ink in in a fun way well i mean i think the the tough part for me is being you know somebody that is traveling and i you know 
kind of a workaholic and things like that, I don't have as much time to be artistic. Yeah. And I'd kind of in the last year hadn't done as much. So when I came to DC and I sat in on your class, mm-hmm. Inky Messes and in Candace's class, Inks and Inkers class um, around doodle art, mm-hmm. I think that kind of opened things up a little bit to start to get creative again mm-hmm. and just play with different ways of like putting ink on paper and like moving it around so there's something that i recorded with your inks i showed you a picture of it i'll post it at some point on instagram but i think for me i want to show people that there's more stuff that you can do with it and you don't have to be a classically trained artist to and i think that's the big thing that i picked up in your class and candace's class you don't have to be an artist and know Mm -hmm. how to you just throw it on the paper get creative get crazy move stuff around and you know have fun with it i think Mm -hmm. that's the key part and i wish i was still making youtube videos because you know i would do the series artsy fartsy time yeah i don't have the time but i think that's that's an homage to kind of what you guys were were talking about in that you know you can be anywhere in your art or skill level just pick up a pen pick up a piece of paper and just Mm -hmm. let your mind go because you you enjoy it right like you're having fun when you're throwing ink on I mean so same with me I have fun when I throw ink on paper and I really like that you are using the term movement like to Mm -hmm. see how the inks move I that just that's just so it's a it's a beautiful way to to picture it just the movement yeah. I mean, if you tied into like life and all that, <laughs> I mean, okay. everything is always You're moving. really deep there, as you know. Very deep. <laughs> everything is always moving, and sometimes you don't know what is going to, what it's going to come out like. But it's going to be an experience when which you're way done. Is going to move. Yeah, yeah, like you don't know which way it's going to move. Oh, exactly. I am so deep. Wow. You are. It's crazy. <laughs> so wise. <laughs> and the cool thing too is that there's an element of releasing your inner child when you do stuff like this mm-hmm. that I think has been missing for me for the last like, you know, year or so since I hadn't been doing art where it doesn't have to be perfect. Like like the the rabbit that I showed, that was, you know, whatever. It is still loose. <laughs> it's not it's not perfect. That's her whatever. <laughs> That was no, no, not no. whatever. <laughs> but no, for but you, like it, doesn't, it, it was it just it, whatever. But you. I'm saying that that's a very technical thing that I did. It doesn't have yeah. to be like that. Right. It doesn't right. have mm-hmm. to be a, a, a technical sort of art style or whatever. You could just, you know, do whatever draw a circle you want. and yeah, draw some ink draw and see where it you goes. You can paint circles. You can paint lines. You can draw lines with your pen. Like, it's just... Try stuff out. Don't don't be shy. Like it it's if it's beautiful, if it's ugly, it's in the eye of the beholder. As long as you're having a good time, who cares? Like, you know, like I think that's the key thing that sometimes people forget. Even with like handwriting styles and stuff too, that I, you know, sometimes talk about is that, you know, everyone has their own style. Embrace it. Have fun with it. Release your inner child. You know? Yeah. Use your fingers. Splat stuff on paper. Like it's just it should be a fun process. Yeah, it doesn't need to be so strict. Okay, I'm done. Oh, that was good. <laughs> you yes. should also be a motivational speaker. I mean, to add that to your already full <laughs> life of work. Oh, I like that. Movement doesn't have to be strict. Yeah. Oh, that's really beautiful. Are you are you a classically trained artist i have no idea what that means like did you do art in school i did i did art all all the way up until uh before i started college so um okay my art was very much so just like learning how to use the different mediums and stuff and like exploring a, a a topic and i had an art show my senior year of high school and it was it was graded and it was you know all of that stuff it was a part of my graduation process very similar to like what you guys do in like europe and uh canada i did something called international baccalaureate so my area of study was art and so for me it was just a very interesting thing so art has always been a part of my life but as i've you know gotten older, I've started exploring like new mediums and stuff that I never really mm-hmm. played with, like watercolor, never did that. And I think that's what opened the door to mm-hmm. using fountain pen inks because fountain pen inks, 
yes, they're not pigments, they're dyes. Mm -hmm. But in essence, it's the same thing. If you have, you know, uh, a red, a blue and a yellow Mm -hmm. color ink, like I think platinum released the mixable ink colors Mm -hmm. years ago. Um, or an al- the alchemy set, I forget, I forget who like released that one, but like where you can mix your own stuff. It's kind of the same yeah. concept of just putting it on, on paper and trying something different. So mm-hmm. yeah. that's beautiful. I mean, yeah. I, I fully agree with you. Um, I am not an artist. You, yeah, you are. What are you talking about? I am not yeah. a trained artist. You have, yeah, yeah I was going to say no, you have I'm a not really trained. good eye. You but, have a really but, good eye for color and design and pattern and stuff. So, well, thank you. I'm going to just, my therapist says, just take a compliment. So thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, <laughs> but it's. Aziza, it's, Aziza, it's, I know that with artists, artists is like, artists is not like, uh, like something like, let's say an accountant that you have to finish school and then you're an yes. accountant. You're an artist at the moment. You're saying I'm an artist. So <gasps> oh. just say it. I like. Oh my Deep gosh. with you. I like that, but but you're right. There is no like step. It's like okay, I've done this, and now I'm an accountant, and now I'm yeah. an artist. Oh, I like that. Just say it. Oh. I'm an artist. I'm an artist. I, yeah. I can't do Nusha's style, but I can enjoy her style. You have your own Nusha. style. Yeah, nobody can make a mess like I can. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right, I have some news here for you, Aziza, which might uh, make you happy because apparently, uh, Adavis that accounting says on Instagram there is a Delta Dolce Vita Rosa hot pink black Ooh. pen out there, and also the Korea was an Aurora eighty eight pink pen Korea limited edition. <gasps> so yeah. uh, thank you, thank you. Okay, so it's there. not they ferocious and, and lies. No, <laughs> it's ferocious and definitely uh, enabling (laughs) (laughs) enabling that's wonderful thank you for the information the artist formerly known as i like that i love i like that i could be or or just you you need to make your own sign like yes i need to make my own sign yeah Um, Uh, nusha i have a question for you that i should have asked you uh like at the beginning of the show because that's what we usually always do Mm. we have a question from our previous guest and then i ask the new guest uh the question but i completely forgot because we just rolled into this whole conversation into into our nonsense so i will do it now it was a question from michaela from uh white beer pen she was our guest last week Uh, it was a lot of fun and she asked you nusha what was your first fountain pen My first fountain pen was a Pilot Varsity. <laughs> hey, that yeah. counts. Yeah, you, uh, should, you have to start somewhere. It, You know, and it was because I was trying to improve my handwriting. And I was having a hard time with gel pens because I felt like they moved too fast on the paper for, for controlling, like, my my script. And so I came across a YouTube account, Open art ink stand open ink art stand art stand open ink whatever it's yeah if you know you know but it's a yeah. mix of some of these words yes. yeah <laughs> yeah uh i'm having yeah some issues with remembering exactly <laughs> uh, what it was i think it's open ink art stand anyway uh and she used a a, a pilot uh namiki and um i was like oh fountain pen like maybe i should give this a try and Namiki and the Varsity are nothing like, you know, uh, Namiki Falcon was what it was and it, nothing the same alike at all. But I decided to give it a shot and um, I kind of just wholly fell down the rabbit hole. Like, oh my gosh, like it was over. That's, that's great though, especially because <laughs> it's, that was your gateway pen. Yeah. It was a Varsity. Yeah. I mean, it's a great pen. That's where it all started. Yeah, like it does the job yeah. very well. It does. And the ink yeah. smells very good. The YouTube channel, by the way, is called uh, Open Ink Stand Art and Calligraphy. Okay. Ah, there, there we go. There we go. So I have you, all the yes. stuff to research afterwards because it's okay. yes. it's okay. I, I like that. Oh. What, what was yours, Aziza? Uh, yeah. it was a it's, it's an it's an interesting YouTube channel, by the way. There's a lot of there's a lot of calligraphy going on there. I Wait, before I forget, it it was um, 
it was a park i don't even know it was a parker and steel body i used to know a latitude not a latitude um it was like slightly above a latitude in in the size um it was a, just a stainless steel body it was fantastic that was back when broad nibs were around more easily and then there were years where broad nibs kind of disappeared and now they're coming back again but yeah it was just a just a standard parker and um i i used um my my fancy bottle of ink that I got was the uh, Iroshizuku Yamabudo. Wow, that's a good one. Just I know, and I was like, "What kind of crazy person spends eighty dollars on a pen and forty dollars on an ink?" So, <laughs> um, and here we are. And here we are. Now, we're here. <laughs> now when I'm like, "It's an eighty dollar pen," I'm like, "Oh, great deal, deal, <laughs> yeah." <laughs> Put yeah. it apart. <laughs> but it's oh, because God. of the inflation rate, most likely. Totally. Let's go with yeah. that. Yeah. Let's thank you. Let's let's say that. My pens are my retirement. Cost of fund. living, you know, like uh pens are a part of that. Yeah. We need them they, to live. They are. They I mean <laughs> yeah. sure. You dangerous. To survive. Um <laughs> Nusha, what question do you have for our next guest? I think it's going to be along the same lines as uh, what we were talking about earlier. Like if you could have your favorite pen body and material mm. and nib, what would it be? And it could be dealer's choice. Like, yeah. I like that. I'm going to see. Material, mm -hmm. nib, and also yep. the brand that have to come out with it. That makes sure. sense because you might want yeah. a particular model. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I like this. Hmm. I think maybe it gives hmm. uh it gives if if the pen makers at all are paying any attention to any of the things that are going on on social media, it might give them an insight into certain things that they could potentially explore. Mhm. Mm uh, I can't turn off the marketing. It's just there. It, I can't turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I yeah, but it's good. It's also very inspirational because <laughs> you just you make things sounds be sound beautiful. Oh, like thank you. The, yeah, I just like the movement of ink on paper. I mean, that's just so elegant. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm like, let's make a mess with ink, and I'm not not elegant about it at all. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. You're also yes! good with words. Aziza, you're also really good with words. You're amazing with words. Well, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. It's. I'm not so good you. with them. I'm quite direct because maybe that's also because I'm Dutch. Because you're, yeah, but that doesn't mean you're not good yeah. with words, right? No. I don't know. Yeah. No, yeah. no, it's great. It's kind of like uh, East Coast people here in the U.S. I adore East Coast people. I love all of the people in the U.S., but yeah. uh, East Coast people, very direct and to the point. They're some yep. of my favorite people because you always know exactly where you stand. I mean, that's <laughs> nice. Yeah. You don't have to worry about stuff. It's like, you know, you just it's just facts. Yeah. But, but yeah, I, I, I just, I, I appreciate how you put things into words. It's a different style. Words. Yeah. Yost, uh, what uh, what was your first fountain pen? Since you asked me, now I need to know. I mean, I know my it's, first fountain uh, pen. It was yeah. a, a Lamy ABC. I got it in oh. uh, primary school, so that's how it all started. And oh, this so week, cute. I learned. I learned because my daughter, she is now in uh, grade three. I don't know if it's grade three, but it's like she's five now, so she starts yep. to learn to write words, things like that. And apparently, she, they don't write with fountain pen anymore. <gasps> So I have to dun, talk dun, with the dun. with the director to to you know the Netherlands. How dare because, they? <gasps> yeah, it's crazy. No, but apparently because I learned it's every school they can decide whatever they want to. Do. Oh no, you have to fix that. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I have a I have an appointment with the direction next week, and then oh, uh, good. we have to discuss it. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I love it. He's like, we can't have that. We we can't have yeah. her not using a fountain pen. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute, though. Yeah, it's impossible. It's yeah. impossible. No, it's that's not okay. Yeah. But what 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 fountain pen should I should I give my daughter when she can write? Well, 
Do you still have your ABC? Mm, I think I chewed it up all the way until it was <laughs> completely gone. Oh, I was going to say you could pass it on, but maybe, <laughs> no. may, maybe not. That's a good question. This also <laughs> needs to be a section on the website, like fountain pens yeah. for kids. Maybe a preppy. A preppy is good because they don't dry out. So, yeah. of course, they have to remember to put the cap on. But um, yeah. the nip is yeah, also preppies. quite, because that's the most important thing, I think, that the nip can hold a lot of pressure because, yes. you know, those Yes, because like, if, if they're writing with a lot of pressure, that's a good idea. And they have so many cute colors of preppies. Yeah, that's true. So, that's true. Yeah, I like that. That's a good one. Yeah, I think I will grab one here and I will bring it home and then let's see how she reacts. Yeah. And and take it with you to your meeting at school. Yeah, like yeah. This like is a this fountain is... pen. Maybe, maybe yeah. the teachers don't even know what it is, like a fountain pen. You need to do like I a fountain it. pen class for them. Yeah. Post it. Give in them the some store. options. Give them some options. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I that's like so that. nice. Oh. I will we'll bring it up to the meeting. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's uh, you'll have to tell us how that goes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we want to know how this ends. If I if I need some marketing tips about it, Nusha, I, will, I, will, I know where to. <laughs> there good. you go. Nusha, available for consulting. I'll, I'll help you message it the right way. Yeah. So that it's like a pitch. There you go. <laughs> oh, I like that. Oh, this has been good. I love it. I love it. All right, ladies, we're out of our time. Uh, we're already talking more than an hour. Uh, Nusha, I would really like to thank you uh, for being our guest here on the show. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we me. learned a lot about movements of inks and all the trends, yeah. of course, in the pound of beautiful. World, so, uh, and, and wishing you fun. safe travels really on your many journeys. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, and good conversation with, with your pen starters yes it's your mont blanc my icebreakers i'll <laughs> yeah, let you guys know if, any, if anybody bites i'll let you guys know there you go this there time. you go awesome well thank Wonderful. you so much oh thank you guys. aziza thank you as well for uh for uh being our co-host again next That's week we have another guest i didn't announce it yet but it's going to be tori from stationary universe so Yay. you definitely tune in next week again uh, after that we're two weeks uh well I am two weeks gone because I'm on my honeymoon. So uh, next week, make sure to tune in. And after that, uh, we will be back. But then after three weeks, uh, Aziza, Wonderful. again, thank you. And of course. Uh, I'll see you next week. Every Everybody that was watching, thank you so much. Uh, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're on YouTube anyway, head over to Perosius and Pretty Pants on YouTube as well. Do you do any videos, Nusha? Not yeah. really anymore. So uh instagram's the place okay because me. then you can you can watch the old content yeah, and you can, can head over to her instagram and it's page good for the it's newer content, content. <laughs> yeah definitely. yeah it's good it'll, it'll make you smile <laughs> gourmet pants on youtube instagram as well make sure to yes. check it out and if you're listening to us through apple Podcasts, spotify or whatever uh podcast streaming service you're using make sure to follow us so you won't miss out on an episode ever again. See you guys next week. Bye-bye. Thank bye. you. Bye.